नमस्कार इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम यू इन इट्स डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग स्टडे तमिलनाडु केरल एंड कोस्टल कर्नाटका रिसीव्ड हैवी रेनफॉल एट वन एट टू प्लेसेस हाउ एवर दी मेनली द हिमाचल प्रदेश उत्तराखंड जम्मू कश्मीर सम पार्ट्स ऑफ द नॉर्थ ईस्ट इंडिया एट ज्वाइनिंग ईस्ट इंडिया एंड सम पार्ट्स ऑफ द पेनसोर इंडिया रिसीव द लाइट रेन हाउ एवर दी सेंट्रल इंडिया वेस्ट इंडिया रिमेन्स ड्राई स्टडे द मैक्सिमम टेन सेंटीमीटर रेनफॉल वॉज रिकॉर्डेड ओवर द केरला एंड मैक्सिमम सेवन सेंटीमीटर रेनफॉल was recorded over the Tamil Nadu and if we look for the today chief synoptic features then today a cyclonic circulation lies over the Rayalaseema and adjoining parts of the Karnataka. A trough also runs from the south interior Karnataka up to the Comorian area across the Tamil Nadu. Over the east central Bay of Bengal today a fresh cyclonic circulation has developed and over the Sikkim and adjoining north Bangladesh another cyclonic circulation lies over that area and uh, over the Uttarakhand and adjoining Himachal Pradesh, a western disturbance lies over that region in the middle tropospheric levels and even a fresh western uh, uh, disturbance is very likely to affect mainly the Jammu Kashmir from the 13th October night and this western disturbance will affect the Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Punjab, Haryana, West Uttar Pradesh, Rajasthan and adjoining areas from the 14th October onwards and as far as the South Peninsular India is concerned, the heavy rainfall fall as well mainly over the Tamil Nadu, Kerala and the coast Karnataka very likely to continue during next two days and from 13th of October rainfall activity will decrease significantly over the peninsular India and if you look for the withdrawal of southwest monsoon so this uh, the white color area represents the regions where the southwest monsoon has already been withdrawn however the conditions are also becoming favorable for withdrawal of southwest monsoon from the some more parts of the Jharkhand some more parts of the Bihar entire uh, Chhattisgarh, some parts of the Odisha, some more parts of the Telangana, some more parts of the Karnataka and over the East Central Arabian Sea during next 48 hours. And if you look for the rainfall forecast for the upcoming 5 days and on today 11th of October as we can see mainly the light rain or moderate rainfall activity will confined over the South Peninsular India, over the islands, over the North East India and adjoining areas of the Sikkim and Bihar. However, all those regions which are given in the white color uh, these areas very likely to be remain dry on today uh, such as the entire uh, central India entire northwest India entire west India and many parts of the east India likely to be dry on today similarly on tomorrow 12th of October also mainly the rainfall activity will confined over the south peninsular India and over the northeast India and over the islands however the entire northeast India central India northwest and west India mainly likely to be dry which are given in the white color and on 13th of October also rainfall activity will confine to the South Peninsular India and North East India. All those regions which are given in the white color such as the East India, Central India and the West India and most parts of the North West and India excluding Jammu and Kashmir likely to be dry. However, Jammu and Kashmir likely to receive heavy light rainfall at one or two places. On 14th of October as we have seen <coughs> a fresh western disturbance is likely to affect northwest India. So uh, in addition to the South Peninsular India and North East India, some parts of the Jammu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh and Punjab also likely to receive light rainfall activity over some parts. However, the remaining parts very likely to be dry on 14th of October. Similarly, on 15th of October, South Peninsular India, North East India likely to receive light rainfall activity and over the entire Northwest India, such as the Jammu Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Punjab, Haryana, adjoining parts of the West Uttar Pradesh, entire West Rajasthan, some parts of the East Rajasthan, some parts of the North West Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat region likely to receive light rainfall activity which are given in this map uh, on 15th of October. However, the entire East India adjoining Central India very likely to be dry. If you look for the heavy rainfall warning then on today mainly the Tamil Nadu, Kerala and South Hindu Karnataka very likely to receive heavy rainfall activity at one or two places and tomorrow Tamil Nadu and Kerala continue to receive heavy rainfall at one or two districts and on 13th of October only Kerala will receive heavy rainfall over some at one or two places and on 14th of October and similarly on 15th of October there will not be any heavy rainfall uh, warning for the entire Indian region. For more detailed weather information you can visit the IMD website. You can follow us on our Facebook page, our YouTube channel and our Twitter page. Thank you.